Believe it or not, the most challenging thing about this, it's not really the business side of it. The most challenging part about this process is the fact that I'm literally... Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Cashew and Yannicka. I'm out here enjoying life, feel me? We just got back from Baltimore uh, a couple days ago, so you know what I'm saying? Back in the city in Philly, so living it up. But first things first, if you're new to the channel, my name is Akechi and Yannicka. I'm an alto saxophonist, multi-instrumentalist, and performing artist from Upper Darby, Pennsylvania. And my goal on this channel is to become a world-renowned music legend. So I post vlogs, performances, song covers, you name it. So if that interests you, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Honestly, I gotta say, Baltimore was a really lit trip. Um, it was like a whole day long trip. I had to wake up at like 5.30 a.m. We went through Delaware, we went through like Chester, we went through like all these different places. And um, we got to see a lot of cool stuff on the sites. I'm gonna upload a vlog at some point. Y'all know how I am with like backed up content. Sometimes these vlogs don't come out for like a month. Um, I have no idea when this vlog will drop, but like, we went through a lot of places. They got, apparently they have Wawa in Maryland, and I had no idea. The food tastes basically the same, nothing different. The gig was interesting, you know, the gig was cool. We did a Smokey Robinson um, tribute, we played some Prince songs, and you know, it was an overall nice vibe. So, I have no complaints, you know. One thing Philly's always known for is the murals. You will never walk a street in Philly and not run into like one of these crazy murals. Like, look at that joint. Guys really playing the flute, you know what I'm saying? We got these joints literally everywhere. So as most of y'all know, I did just drop my new song, Find Your Light, specifically the vocal version. The vocal version is now out on all streaming platforms. Um, if you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. The link is inside the description. I might leave it pinned inside the comments. It was so interesting recording that song like i literally felt like i was like an r&b singer from like the 90s i don't know it felt cool and it's like y'all know me like i don't post any vocal content on this channel a lot of y'all didn't even know i was a vocalist to be honest until you heard the song i've been doing vocal music since i was like a little kid you know that's actually what i started off with i honestly want to start doing some more vocal stuff you know um i have some projects that are coming out um i can't say when they're gonna come out but they will come out you know what i'm saying um i'm also a producer so been taking around with you know FL Studio um, getting a little bit better with that I might buy myself a MIDI keyboard because I hate lugging down my I think it's like 72 73 key Yamaha um, what's that John called it's a Yamaha piano like a beginner type piano but um, I'm tired of using that as a MIDI I might actually get like something different you know what I'm saying like an Akai or something like that but look forward to some more vocal recordings and songs um, I'm gonna keep you guys posted. This is one spot, one pizza spot in Philly that I've always wanted to try. Every time I'm around here, I always see people with these giant pizza boxes and I'm always wondering where they get it. So I ran into an artist the other day and he told me, you know, go to this place called, um, I think it's called Barra Rosa. Um, and, you know, looks like they got some really nice food. So one day I might try it. I'm about to take y'all to one of the best parks in Philadelphia in three, two, I don't even know how to count. Three, two, one. So this is one of my favorite parks. It's actually one of my favorite sites to um, record video in, you know what I'm saying? In Philly, because look at this place. Like the green, for whatever reason, it just pops. So it's really cool. Like look at the waterfall and everything, or the fountain, however you want to call it. It's a really nice place. I think the next spot I'm gonna check is Reading Terminal. I love these places. It's weird, like, I don't know. I like sightseeing, you know? It takes my mind off of the stage and it's really therapeutic. So on some cool news, you know what I'm saying? Oh wait, I gotta get this. This is some like interesting type stuff right here. I don't know what these are, like trinkets and just statues. It looks cool to me. But yeah, on some other news, um, I'd like to update you guys with what's going on. Currently, you know, preparing for the EP launch. The EP is actually coming really soon, and I can tell you guys this confidently, it's coming next month in October. And I'm kind of shocked, you know? <laughs> like, as I'm working and just trying to get everything together, I haven't really had a chance to just like sit down and think about like what we've done so far. We've literally dropped City Dreams and Find Your Light. I have two songs out right now, and they're not just out. They are out on all streaming platforms. Like, that's kind of crazy, a lot of people I'm not gonna say a lot of people, but like most people that I've come across, it's not something common to have your music just like, not just on SoundCloud or you know, 
um, just be on like places like you know Spotify, Apple Music, like that in of itself is an accomplishment. And the fact that I've seen a lot of your comments, a lot of you guys are like 13, 15 year olds that I've inspired to keep chasing music, which is kind of crazy because like I'm literally, you know, I'm literally here in Upper Darby just making these videos. You know, you never know who's watching this stuff. So I'm really happy that you guys were touched by my music. And I think you guys are gonna love what I have coming up in store. So the EP, all of it, my original music, got a lot more tracks on there, a lot more sounds. Um, we have some experimental stuff on there. We have some more jazzier stuff, you know. It's a mix of everything. And we got some stuff for the funk fans too. Believe it or not, the most challenging thing about this, it's not really the business side of it. The most challenging part about this process is the fact that I'm literally the videographer for almost everything that I'm doing on my project. Like, I'm the one making these documentary styled videos. I do have a huge announcement coming soon regarding that. Um, but, you know, I'm pretty much the one that's behind like a lot of these videos that you're seeing, um, minus like the music video. So I'm editing everything, I'm recording everything. And it's not too common, at least in Philly, to for the front man to be doing all this stuff. You usually hire somebody for this. So I'm kind of more hands-on. I don't like to, you know, to hand out different projects or assignments to others. I kind of like to do everything myself. So it's a lot of work. It definitely is a lot of work. Like I'm doing this stuff on, um, for any of you guys who are interested in like video editing, I'm editing on Adobe Premiere, but I'm on this really old Dell laptop. So it's not the best. It takes like two days for like a 4K video to export. So hopefully I get that new, you know, laptop real soon, but Everything's pretty much been on me. So I'm excited though. I'm not stressed. I mean, I am lying. I am stressed, but like, it's good stress. It's stuff that I'm looking forward to. So look forward to more videos and more announcements for the EP. We just got to Market Street, y'all. You know I'm saying? Cool vibes in Market Street. All right, y'all, if you made it this far into the video, type down inside the comment section, bacon cheeseburger, all right? I know it's been a minute since I did that, but shoot, why not? Type in the comment section, bacon cheeseburger. Put the little emoji too. You know, it's kind of interesting. Like, I remember a couple of years ago, I was talking about, I met a follower, an IG follower in Reading Terminal, but I have yet to meet one of y'all. So, I don't know, if you ever stop into Philly, like, just come to Philly. <laughs> I would love to feature one of y'all in the vlog. Yeah, I don't know, it's something interesting about like, you know, when you go on YouTube, you see like people seeing their subscribers and like public and whatnot. Like, I think that's a cool thing. Like, even though we can't really do like meet and greets, organized meet and greets right now, like if y'all are ever in Philly and you see me, don't be afraid to come up to me. Like I'm a pretty chill guy, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll take pictures, whatnot, you know what I'm saying? It'll be lit time, so. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the day when I could finally meet one of y'all. So I'm in Reading Terminal right now. It's not as packed as usual, but you know, still looks cool. Like, I like this place, you know? I remember doing vlogs back in like 2019. I didn't have the camera, but like now, everything looks so nice. Like, it's crazy, man. It's, it's really crazy. Like, this is probably, I was telling um, the guys yesterday, or the other day, 
for the Baltimore gig, like this is probably one of the best investments I've ever made, you know, just having the camp. Yo, just look at these lights, man. The contrast, bro. Best, man, I cannot stress it. Best investment I ever made. Crazy. But, um, I don't know. I don't want this vlog to run on too, too long. I think I might go to Dilworth or something. I don't know where I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna go somewhere. All right, so that's it for this video. If you guys like this video, please make sure to like, comment, share, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe. Let me know if you wanna see more vlogs on this channel. Make sure to follow me on social media. My links are down below inside the description. Also, make sure to stream Find Your Light. The link is down below inside the description and pinned inside the comments. You're also more than welcome to donate to my channel. It definitely helps on my channel. My Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal are down below inside the description. Make sure to turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.